Cybermercs for the PC. In 2115, human cloning has been perfected. This would seem to provide much longer lives, indeed, invulnerability to the human race. However, one of the colonies is being threatened by aliens. This means that some of these cybermercs, super soldiers that can be cloned and have their biological stats upgraded, they're sent to deal with the aliens. Essentially what this is, is an explanation of how you can keep trying a level and of the whole RPG thing of upgrading. But the universe is genuinely intriguing here and you find yourself getting pretty lost in it in spite of the relatively uninspired gameplay. The game is essentially Diablo with guns. I haven't played very much Diablo. I've played no Diablo. I've only seen other people play it, but I can tell that, you know those games are better. In this, you can't walk with the arrow keys. You can only walk by clicking somewhere with the mouse. And once you've clicked somewhere, there's not much of a chance of you changing the direction. He'll walk all the way there before you can walk in another direction. The enemies are all very powerful, even some of the very earliest ones you'll encounter. So you basically have to, you know, stand somewhere away from them, shoot at them, walk away as they approach you, shoot at them from where you're standing, walk away, shoot. You can't shoot and walk at the same time in this game. And this is really what most of the game consists of. You'll be walking away from the enemies trying to find, you know, tactical ways to be shooting them down. However, it just somehow is entertaining and surprisingly addictive. The guns are pretty nice. You basically have a couple of types and then different versions of those types. Stronger versions that then also take up more space in your inventory and you know, you need to be upgraded in your basic abilities before you can use the stronger ones. There are pistols, submachine guns, shotguns, rocket launchers, laser guns, flamethrowers, and that might be all of them. And you start out with just a pistol, and it's pretty weak, but it's also got unlimited ammo. For all the other ones, you have to buy ammo, and you have to keep it on your person, your, in your inventory, and if you run out of ammo, you know, you're not going to be able to use that gun anymore until you get some more. There are also grenades, both regular and gas grenades. There are various science fiction gadgets. You know, how this differs from a lot of RPGs is that it is science fiction. It's not fantasy. You know, so we have future technology. There are holograms. You can place proximity mines. You can set up sensory guns. All of these do, of course, take up space, and you have to have, you know, your stats sufficiently upgraded in order to use them. If you die, you can, you know, get a clone of yourself. Although I think you maybe lose whatever items you had on you when you died. The same goes for the multiplayer, which <laughs> it works okay. I've never had that much luck with it. There's both co-op and deathmatch. The story isn't bad, 
but you could play the entire game pretty much without noticing the story. The main thing really is the gameplay. The graphics are of course utterly unimpressive. The game is from 98. The creatures are pretty much, well several of them anyway, are cannibalized from, stolen from sci-fi classics, you know, you have something quite similar to the chestburster and the full-grown xenomorph drone. You know, the color is maybe off, they're tan in this instead of black, but they're obviously inspired from, you know, Ridley Scott's classic, by Ridley Scott's classic. The music is pretty good, and in general, the atmosphere really isn't bad in this. I've found myself replaying this game several times, four or five times by now, maybe. In spite of the fact that it is pretty much the same, I mean, you can shape it some by your choices, and there are the items you find in the levels are randomized some. You know, I'm not sure you can really get two exact, exactly the same playthroughs, even though the creatures will be appearing at about the same places. But pretty much, the game is just fun somehow. I can't quite explain it. The you you also have a you of course also have armor. You also have a bit of a motion detector similar to the one of the Marines in Aliens. And something that is kind of nice is that creatures can literally be hiding above you, so you can be thinking it says one meter, it says zero meters, where is it? And then it'll drop down right next to you, right behind you. Maybe even several at a time. This can, of course, also be frustrating, but... The areas aren't bad. There are several science fiction you know, machines and various things. And it's just reasonably well thought out, at least. It it really is surprisingly immersive for how limited the gameplay is. That's about what there is to say about the game, so if you have an old enough computer that can run it, and you can find it cheaply somewhere, you might want to give it a shot. It's fun, somehow. That was my spoiler for review of Cybermercs for the PC. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.